Scotland has a long history of outdoor learning. It is embedded in our professional standards as teachers, our curriculum for excellence and the rights of the child. For teachers, it is a have to, not just an ought to. In teaching outside our classroom walls, we can raise attainment through increased engagement and motivation, through the fact that moderate movement boosts cognitive processes, and that outdoor learning often includes genuine failure and consequence, leading to the need for a growth mindset in learners and teachers. There are more opportunities for collaborative learning in developing creativity and problem solving. Involve pupils in authentic social and environmental issues that have personal meaning to the pupils. We also know that non-stressed brains learn better and that enjoying access to green space and being more physically active is probably the biggest gain we can make to improve the physical and mental health of our pupils. Using local communities and green space as a context for learning has many benefits. It is more time efficient and has no transport or access costs. This approach also sits with the routine and expected format. These are school excursions that do not use adventurous activities and are within the usual school hours. This reduces the paperwork required, yet still allows pupils to experience and learn to manage appropriate levels of risk within their own community. Learning locally also challenges teachers and pupils to develop place-responsive and inquiry-led approaches to learning. As a result, our children develop a sense of place. That is to say, they have curiosity and responsibility about their local places and people in the community. Learning about issues becomes a personal experience, not just textbook-based. Pupils are able to influence their own learning, community and environment. So we've been using the local outdoors at Sean's Academy and, and Queen's Park and, and Pollock Park for a number of years. They're punctual and they're on time. When they know they're going outdoors, their attendance is high. They're having fun, they're active, and quite often they're actually engaged in lessons, learning all these lessons without realising that they're learning. So the John Muir Award um, is a programme that we run once a year. It's, it involves all first years. It's a mandatory part of the curriculum, so all students take part in it. So we're learning how to find the aid of a tree. So there's a thing like circumference radius. We're measuring, measuring the, um, the pH of the ground. We've been learning about like photosynthesis and all that. Uh, you don't sit down the whole time, it's quite active and it's pretty fun. It's good being out here because you get to, you don't like just see it, you physically like experience it. Yeah. And you just see it happening in front of you and it's better. I think it makes you understand it a little bit more because you can see it right in front of you, like in real life. So you get to actually have the experience and use all these different tools to figure that out. When you're learning outside, you will learn a lot more because there's so much more possibilities. For some of these pupils, their time outdoors is a highlight of school, a reflection of getting it right for every child, perhaps. This more meaningful learning experience, in turn, raises attainment. Pupils feel more confident have built a wider view of themselves and the world around them and have a deeper understanding and memory of the learning they undertook. Learning in local green space can deliver stronger communities and future generations who are more resilient, who better understand themselves and their impact on the world around them. In doing so, we can prepare them for unseen challenges and new jobs in this changing world. In Scotland, we are challenging the assumption that learning takes place inside four walls, sat at a desk. Good teaching involves a variety of approaches and activities, as well as a variety of locations, from indoors to school grounds, local spaces and wild and adventurous places. Grounds for Learning is a key partner of Scottish natural heritage in delivering this learning and local green space project. We have been supporting teachers across Scotland through our long term teaching in nature and lead teacher and outdoor learning courses for over a decade. Please come and see the resources and support we can offer to get you and your learners learning in local green space. <laughs>